Ah, uh, it looks like all our problems are solved. Oh, great. <laughs> I have no idea what we would have done otherwise. I didn't think we'd really managed to get you here. This was a last-minute situation, and you're the one we trust the most. To put it simply, we are just looking for the right person to help. I have tasked my three most trusted secretaries with overseeing an important auction tomorrow. The nature of their day-to-day -day work is highly sensitive and confidential, so whomever I ask to fill in needs to be someone I can trust, and who- Yes, you were the person who came to mind. To me, this work is highly sensitive and of utmost importance, though I'm sure you'll find it to be mundane at best. It and yet, despite this, I thought it could do no harm to ask the question on the off chance that you are interested. As it happens, I was just having a discussion on backup plans with my secretaries before you arrived. But the outcome of that discussion was that we couldn't think of a suitable alternative. This is a good reminder that we should always have a contingency plan for everything. Anyway, this may add to the debt of gratitude I owe you. But the fact is, your arrival here has rescued what was fast becoming a rather dire situation indeed. I wouldn't worry. It's all work you'll be quite familiar with. Planning trips, gathering pertinent information, that sort of thing. All basic skills required by competent adventurers. If you have any questions about your work, I will answer them short. The administrative work Lady Ningguang touched upon just now is only one aspect. You'll- Don't be mistaken. I won't put you in a difficult position. And all right, please proceed to the office. Yes, Lady Ningguang. Before I get into specifics, I want to- As a member of the Liyue Qixing, Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. Main My usual job is to be her right hand, to maintain her image, and take care of all her worries. For example, arranging her daily schedule, picking out clothes for her, dressing her, applying her perfume... Uh, <clears throat> you misunderstand me. Baisha has always been very passionate about her work. I can leave any task in her capable hands, and rest assured that her performance will be nothing short of exemplary. I'm sure she was simply trying to share some of her enthusiasm. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Back to the topic at hand. Bai Xiao and Bai Wen handle tasks that require enormous experience, while I can go through the methods I use and give you some pointers based on my experience to ensure that you are fully equipped to perform your duties. All in a day's work for the Traveler, hmm? Great, then I'll skip that and just get to the handover of duties. Currently, there are 133 items that have yet to be scheduled, 17 of which are high importance, and... Yes, I did try to make a start in advance, but only got as far as roughly prioritizing the tasks before I ran out of time. I'll go through the most important items with you in more detail. If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to stop me with questions at any point. First is the periodic meeting with the representatives of the eight trades. After that, fielding opinions on revisions to the current tax legislation. Then a discussion with Lady Kuching on issues relating to time restrictions on land conveyance deals. Following right after that, there's... Yes, you do. To the... You need to take travel time into account, along with ample knowledge of all outside factors that may weigh upon your plan A is essential to devise a workable contingency plan. I assume this is all making sense. Unless you had any other quest- Good, then let's press on. We're tight on time here. Already? Wow, you're a fast learner. Wonderful. Then I'll be counting on you to provide my schedule for tomorrow. I'm grateful for your assistance. If anything else is unclear, you can ask by sure. Take care, Lady Ningguang. You factored in both excellent work. You've got quite a- Please be here at the Jade Chamber tomorrow morning. With you helping out here, we will be able to focus fully on the auction. It will be quite a complicated affair. I hope so too. You must be exhausted. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? That's good. I was worried you'd be a little uncomfortable. Now then, the schedule. Let's see what you have for me today. Item one, lunch at Leolip. Ah, yes, I remember. No, someone I've never met before. <laughs> She's paying a high price for my time. Otherwise, tens of millions of Mora is rather a high price for lunch. That's right. Even at this price, there is no shortage of people willing to pay for a lunch opportunity with me. To be clear, I've never had any hand in setting the price. Time is very valuable to me. So when I first came up with the idea, I gradually it developed into a lucrative business. Yes, that sums it up very well. Naturally, for anyone looking to make a profit in a complex market, the bottom line is having the requisite experience and expert. As for how much my insight is worth in terms of Mora, you're a very lucky person, you know. In the hands of a professional business person, there's no need to be nervous, of course. Did you organize this entire breakfast? Uh -huh. Please, sit. Have a taste of the Jade Chamber's chef's cooking. What do you think? Is the food to your liking? Oh, don't forget we have a lunch later. Still, I'm happy to see that you approve of my culinary tastes. On occasion, usually everyone is too busy for a leisurely sit-down meal. Breakfast also isn't usually so lavish, hence my surprise when we got here. I actually thought you had cooked it all yourself. Relax, I'm just joking. You willingly took this work on, knowing that it would be tedious, and you have worked diligently. Treating you to some food is but a small token of our appreciation. Breakfast sets the tone for the rest of the day. You can't compromise on it. If you wake up to the same monotonous meal each day, Well, I'm done eating. I have some preparations to make first. I need a change of mood. Who knows? Perhaps you will have a complete- I already instructed Long Yang to have my outfit ready. Thank you. Hello. How may I help? Ah, yes, of course. Here you are. Please give this to Lady Ningguang. Yes, this whole- Lady Ningguang asked us to rearrange this room recently. We're currently right in the middle. <clears throat> anyway. Did you get it? Ah, this is... I had this specially tailored recently, and I must say, I'm really rather fond of it. What do you think? Be honest. I- Phew. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually a little nervous. Knowing that it has your seal of approval makes me feel much more self-confident. If you're second-guessing how you look, that's why your affirmation matters so much to me. All right, let's head to Leoli Pavilion.
Sorry to have kept you waiting. No, no, not at all. I- Great. Well, let's leave- This is the Traveler. She happened to be in Leo Harbor today. Do you mind if she sits with us? No, not at all. On the contrary, I'm on- I've always been fascinated by you and your adventures. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Where are- I'm Luo Chiao. A businesswoman. I work mostly in the textile business, but that's what I wanted to ask Lady Ning Guang for some advice about. <laughs> so, the rumors are true then. Rumors? You know, the rumors about the two of you, Lady Ning Guang and the Traveler, having a... a you haven't heard? Come on, you must- And if you didn't have some sort of special relationship, why would she- <laughs> Interesting. The Traveler is a national hero in Liyue whose actions have directly contributed toward the prosperity we enjoy today. Even putting aside my official status as one of the Liyue Qixing, I admire her on a personal level too. Oh, yeah, you're comparing apples and sunsetias there. I've missed out on a number- Investment opportunity? No, something- Oh, but isn't there some new technology from Fontaine that needs lots of luminescent spines to make it work? If it were really that profitable, I had my secretary do some analysis. So I would advise you to be cautious. I see. Well, <laughs> I was planning to get your opinion on how to get started in that business. In my opinion, long term, it's very difficult to say. You think so too, huh? Okay, got it. If that's what both of you think, maybe it'd be a better choice to invest this money into an industry that I'm genuinely interested in getting involved with. Lady Ningguang, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. Good. Now I see why you were able to become the most successful business person in Liyue Harbor. You think clearly. You are very- You've been listening for a while. Has it sparked an interest in the business world for you? Ah, uh, so you want to be my competitor. Or how about this? I'll invest in you early on, before- I won't take up any more of your time. See you next time. I'll look forward to hearing good news from you soon. Right then, lunch is over. I'm a little concerned about the auction. Yes, you're right. Whatever happens, they can handle it. In that case, what's next on the schedule? Ah, okay then. Yes, it's been some time since I last caught up with them. Let's go to Mingxing Jewelry first. I... <laughs> Hello. I'm here to collect the item I handed in for repair. Ah, Lady Ningguang. One moment, please. I'll... Very good. Don't rush now. Hmm. You probably imagine that Mingxing... The workers here are very skilled. This time, though, I just had them do a simple repair. Lady Ningguang, your comb has been fixed. We did everything we could to restore it to its original con... That's fine. Thank you for your hard work. Yes, though it is something very precious to one of my informants. My informants often provide me with extremely important information. Trust is of far greater importance than profit in the relationship between- It's understandable to think that way. But things are a little different with these particular informants. And this only makes me all the more excited to meet with them. Thank you for the repair, Xingqi. This is a great help. Oh! Don't mention it. It's always a pleasure, Lady. Let's go and meet them.
Ningguang. Hi, Auntie Ningguang. Hello, my dears. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. And they are some of my most reliable helpers and friends. I didn't want to involve them in intelligence gathering for me at first. It turned out that they delivered the goods and thoroughly enjoyed themselves while they were at it. So, fill me in. Great! Mom and Dad have taken me on loads of cool trips recently. It's been... But you didn't do your homework. Yeah, you still gotta try. This new age started after that great battle, you know. Well, this is a dramatic change. You... What about you, Nan Nan? Uh, uh, I'm fine. Um, just don't know what to say. Oh yeah, I just remembered. A load of really big boats came into the harbor the day before yesterday. Yeah, that's right. All the merchants were there, and it was really noisy, and- Oh, I see. That'll be the fishing boats coming back from the open ocean. Yep. I made sure to look at the waterline, just like- My goodness. The heavier the boat, the lower the hull sits in the water. How deep a fully loaded vessel will sit in the water varies from ship to ship. <laughs> Since Auntie Ningguang taught- Um, a few days ago, um, I- I heard some people saying that a big merchant from Fontaine is coming soon to buy luminescent spines. They said that when they get here- Oh, really? Who did you hear this from? Um... All right, never mind. Um... Uh, um... Oh, I don't remember that either. Are you okay? You're usually the one that talks the most. What's got- It's okay. Don't be upset. It's my comb. You remembered. Of course I did. Thank you, Auntie Ningguang. It was just a small favor, really. But- but they said you'd be too- They? Uh-oh. It's all right. Don't worry. Yeah, Auntie Ningguang's not gonna blame you. I'm sorry. I... I... I told you a lie. That thing about the luminescent spines wasn't something I heard. I told them I didn't want to lie to Auntie Ningguang. Then they bought me a new comb. I'm sorry. I'll give them the comb back right away. No I know how much it means to you. Yeah, it was. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. I must say, this is most intriguing. How about this? You tell me where those two people are, and I'll take the comb back to them for you. Okay. Um, they're over at the docks. All right, then. Don't worry, it'll all be fine. Are you gonna go punish the bad guy? Now, now. This is a grown-up situation, okay? I'm just going to have a polite discussion with those two grown-ups about what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. You think that kid's gonna fluff her lines? Ah, uh, yes, I know. But we didn't have any other options. Ningguang adores that kid. It sounds like you underestimated me. Lady Ningguang? You knew how important that comb was to Nan Nan. You coached a child to lie. I... Sorry, Lady Ningguang, we... That's not the point. Business is business. And at some point, we're all trying to get the better of one another. So, but you cannot put more above all else. You can't. It was hardly our first choice either. We've been business partners for years now. When we heard about the movement in the luminescent spine market, so we stocked up a huge stash of luminescent spines and watched as the price went up and up. We thought, but we waited and waited, and, the, and this mystery merchant from Fontaine never came. Suddenly, everyone with luminescent spines was running for the exit, selling us. Oh yeah. As soon as Lady Mingguang makes a move, everyone follows her lead. If we don't sell the goods, 
We're both bankrupt. To be brutally honest, we took out a loan and made a speculative investment is not a sob story. But not everyone has the capability to make rational decisions. Greed, a lust for wealth, and imp- Do you now realize how dire the consequences of wild speculation can be? A hundred percent. We've- we begged people to take our stock off our hands. We messed up. Complete- The savings we worked so hard our whole lives to build up? Deci- hmm. Well... I can take your luminescent spines off your hands. The portion of what I pay that exceeds the average price of luminescent spines in the past... Huh? But... but that means our profit is zero. Then you're free to find another willing buyer. But, if you're seriously still insisting on turning a profit under these circumstances... Lady Ningguang is right. Yes. Yes, you're right. I have no particular need for luminescent spines. Okay, so, um... No need to hurry. You took advantage of a child, and this is an opportunity for you to show remorse. Oh, okay. Come on. Let's go back and see the children. We're back. Everything's all sorted. Huh? I'm sorry, Nan Nan. I was completely in the wrong. And... Mm. What do you think, Gontini? I think it should be your choice. Well, since it's all sorted out now and nothing. But we can't just let them off. We. That's true. I've made up my. <laughs> I want them to come play with. Uh, what? Yeah! Now we have someone to play hide and seek. Great idea. Let's go. W wait a second. Nope. No waiting. Come on. <laughs> so, yes. Let me guess what you're thinking. You're thinking that there's not a huge difference between me turning these children into my informants and the actions of those two businessmen. They were completely different when I first met them. They'd run away as soon as they saw me. But gradually, they stopped seeing me as someone to be afraid of. For my part, I played games with them, but I also taught them observation skills, now, they're much further ahead in their studies, and far more mature than their peers. I think that this is beneficial to them. <sighs> yeah, I never had the chance to receive a good education as a child. Someday they may realize that not everything is a win-win deal. When that happens, they will be ready to face the world head-on and become exceptional businessmen and women. But until then, I am here to protect them. I will one day die. New Qixing will replace the old. I hope the name Ningguang will live on. If I can pass on everything I have learned... Come on, Auntie Ningguang! Hurry up! We're not gonna wait forever! Coming! Come on, let's enjoy this while we can. <laughs> <laughs> 